Today we're going to be going over all one look OLL cases with this edge center edge L. You might think that all the OLL cases are equally likely to occur, but actually if you add up the probabilities, L cases occur exactly 50% of the time. So if you learn all these algorithms that we're going to show today, then you're already halfway to one look. So first we're just going to go over the cases that only have an L facing up. Now there's actually six different cases of these, but I don't have enough cubes to show them all at once, so I'm just going to take these two at a time. So the key to recognizing these sorts of cases is all in these edges and corners here. So first we're going to go over ones where there's only a block of two. So this one's very easy. It's when the block of two is here, when the L is facing this way, and then you will do this algorithm. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. That was pretty simple. And you could just mirror it here, or you can do this other algorithm, which I find is a little bit faster. So you'll hold it the same way like you were going to mirror it, but then you're going to do this. R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R, F prime, R prime, F, R, F prime, U, R. These next two cases look frighteningly similar, but we're going to go over the differences. So once again, we're going to hold it like this so that we can see all these colors here, and we notice that there's just bars of three and then nothing else. So first, we're going to go over this one. So it's when the bar is on the left when the L is facing this way. So here's the algorithm. R wide, U, R prime, U, R, U prime, R prime, U, R, U two, R wide prime. And once again, you could just mirror it here, or you can learn this algorithm, which is better to finger trick. So I think you should. R wide prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime, U, R, U prime, R prime, U two, R wide. Now for our last two cases with only the L facing up. So once again, we'll look here at the different colors and we see that there's bars of three as well as bars of two. First, we'll go over this case when the bar of three is on the left and here will be the moves. R prime, F, R prime, F prime, R two, U two. Then you do a Y, which is just turning the whole cube to the right. Then R prime, F, R, F prime. I also kind of like to turn the cube down for those first couple moves for like the beginning of V perm. Anyway, here's the next case. So you have the bar of two here, and then the bar of three is now on the right. So here are the moves. R prime, F, R two, B prime, R two, F prime, R two, B, R prime. Also for that one, I actually like to do the opposite, so I turn it up to the top face, and then I can kind of do it like an E perm. It's not quite the same thing, but anyway, it's the same moves. On to the P shapes. Now there are four of these cases, and I'll just show them in groups of two. So as we look here, these are the cases with bars of three. Now the other ones do not have this, so that's important. First, I'll go over this case. So it's when the bar is on the left, and you'll do this pretty easy algorithm. F wide, R, U, R prime, U prime, F wide prime. That's probably the easiest algorithm that I'm going to show. That's what I used to use for two look. So there you go. And then I just mirror it here. So F wide prime, L prime, U prime, L, U, F wide. Now for these next two P shapes, notice that we don't have that bar of three and we sort of have this two right here. So that for this first one, you'll hold it like this and then do this algorithm. R, U, B prime, U prime, R prime, U, R, B, R prime. And then for this other one, you'll just sort of hold it in the reverse way and then do this algorithm. R prime, U prime, F, U, R, U prime, R prime, 
f prime r. On to the w shapes. Now these look similar, but they are different. So when you hold them both like this, one will have a bar on the right and one will have a bar on the face. For the one with the bar on the right, you'll do this pretty simple algorithm. r u r prime u r u prime r prime u prime r prime f r f prime. And then you could just mirror that or you could do this faster algorithm. So I guess the bar is still on the right and then you'll do this. r prime u prime r u prime r prime u r u and then you'll do a y f r prime f prime r on to the four awkward shapes so they're just a small lightning bolt with one extra dot the key is going to be in these two this corner and edge that aren't facing up if they form this bar of two then you'll do one algorithm but if this one's facing away, then you'll do a different one. So for this case, so bars here on the left, you'll do this algorithm. R2, U, R prime, B prime, R, U prime, R2, U, R, B, R prime. And then for this one, which just has the bar on the right, you'll do this algorithm. M, U, R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R, F prime, M prime. Now for these other two shapes, as we just talked about, these two pieces will not form a bar. So for this one, which is where the empty slot is here on the left, you'll actually do a Y2 and hold it like this, and then you'll do this algorithm. R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. So it's just the soon and then that extra move at the end. Then for this one, you'll hold it like this and then you'll do this algorithm. R prime, F, R, F prime, R prime, F, R, F prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime. Now for the two fist shapes. So it's this two by two square and then one more dot here. So the differences between these is this forms blocks of two and this does not. So for this one, you will hold it like this and then do this algorithm. R, U two, R two, F, R, F prime, R, U two, R prime. And then for this other one, this will be pretty similar to Y perm. You just do the beginning of Y perm. So it is F, R, U prime, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, F prime. Now, actually I looked it up. These other two are also called fist shapes, but they look different from the top because this dot is not gonna be yellow. So the way you can tell them apart is when you hold them like this, one will have the bar of two here and one will not. So for this one, you'll simply hold it like this and then do this algorithm. R, U, R prime, U, R prime, F, R, F prime, R, U, two, R prime. And then for this one, we're going to hold the dot down here in the bottom right and then do this algorithm. R, U, R prime, U prime, R prime, F, R two, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. There are four lightning bolt shapes. An easy way of recognizing them is when you look at the only corner that's facing up, if you have this block of two, then you'll do this algorithm. And then in a moment, I'll show you the other cases which don't have this block of two. So for this one, you'll actually start by holding it this way, and you'll do this algorithm. R, Y prime, U prime, R, U prime, R prime, U two, R wide. Then you'll kind of just do the mirror of that for this case, and you'll hold it this way. So R wide, U, R prime, U, R, U two, R wide prime. 
for these other two cases, as we just mentioned, when you look at the only corner facing up, there will be no block of two. So for this one, which is 90 volts going this way, you will do this algorithm. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime, U, F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. And you will sort of just do a mirror of it here, hold the lightning bolt here, and do this algorithm. F prime, L prime, U prime, L, U, F, and then you can either do U or just turn the cube, then F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. Here are the two 2x2 two two square cases. The way to recognize them is looking here, there's one piece that's not facing you, and then this is where you're going to start your algorithm. So, for instance, for this one, the first move is going to be R wide, and then to continue, U2, R prime, U prime, R, U prime, R wide prime. And then you will just do the mirror, so you will start with L wide, U2, L, U, L prime, U, L wide. And now for the last L case, this is when all corners are already oriented. So it's essentially a lot like a U perm, except you don't do M2 moves. So you'll hold it like this, and then M prime, U prime, M, U2, M prime, U prime, M. And then, of course, you could just do the other U perm as well, in case that's easier for you, but that's the algorithm. Well, there you have it. That's all 27 L cases. If you want to learn the rest of OneLook OLL, you can check out my page. I have videos containing the rest of the OneLook OLL algorithms. I hope this video helped you, and for the future, good luck.